In this Madden 22 video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the most slept on passing concepts out of Trips Tied In. You don't really need Hot Route Master to create this concept, although it is. Um, it can help, certainly. Um, but this is something that you can utilize as a change of place play, something simple. Um, the reason that I like this concept so much is because, again, most people sleep on the right side of the field in trips. They really don't defend it. And honestly, it's because at this point in the year, the way trips has been ran for the majority of Madden 22, um, they don't really force people to defend the tight end and running back side like they used to. Used to, you get a lot of the Dublin sale, high-low between the running back and the tight end, and that was very difficult to defend and you had to have two to three zones over on that side of the field. Anymore, it's really not what we're seeing. We're seeing a lot of crossing routes necessarily to the right side, but if you drop a 30-yard cloud over there and then maybe have like your user on that side of the field, it makes it super easy to fit. So today I wanted to give you a concept that can help you uh, attack that side of the field. Trip side in has been my bread and butter this year. It's been my favorite offense. Um, I just keep really enjoying the offense to be honest with you, uh, because there's so much that you can do out of it. And also wanted to let you know that if you want to get my full trips tied in ebook, join the membership, the Patreon. Um, we just put out a 45 minute update to trips tied in yesterday on pretty much only half of some of the stuff that I wanted to share. So there's a lot of stuff that we have coming up in the Patreon. So if you want to get access to it, just again, there's a link in the description. You can click on that and it'll allow you to get all the updates um, or all the ebooks. The cool part about the membership too is it doesn't just give you one ebook. You, we've got 18, 18 offensive and defensive guides. So it's got a bunch in there. We got trips, we got U trips, we got spread, we got air raid, we got um, a ton of stuff on the defensive side of the ball as well because of how um, difficult defense has been this year. But if you want to get access to all that, again, there's a link in the description below and you can sign up for just $10. And of course, you can cancel whenever you would like to. Now, this concept honestly can be ran out of really anything. Um, it, it can be ran out of anything. And really, the one that I like the most is probably curl flat because we have this running back route. Now, how we're going to set this up is actually relatively simple. There's a hidden motion in trips tied in that allows us to motion this guy to a unique position on the field. If you take a look here, he's going to motion... Um, just right to the numbers. Now, if we were to motion, um, let's say we were to motion uh, him to the right side of the field, what you're going to notice is he would go all the way, um, you know, outside the numbers to the to the sideline. Okay, so I like this hidden motion a lot for uh, what I'm about to show you. And what I'm about to show you is a really cool little concept. So what we're going to do here is we're going to motion this guy to the to the left, so he goes his shorter route, which is gonna be out here, okay? Now, you don't necessarily, again, you don't have to do that. You can just snap him if you wanted to, but I like to let him set his feet up. So we're gonna curl uh, Scotty Miller. And then what we're gonna do with the tight end is we're gonna put him on a little shoot flat route. So the combination is really a curl flat concept on the right side with that angle route. Now that's gonna really, really push the user to have to get out there. And then on the back side, what we're going to do, one of two things. We're going to zig the outside receiver, and we're going to hitch the inside slot. So take a look at this concept now. So we, we're going to attack the defense at different degrees and different levels. They have to have a yellow zone over here on the left side. Otherwise, we're going to be able to throw that. They have to have a yellow zone on the right side. Otherwise, we can throw the running back. And they have to have a good zone on the right, which they probably won't have. Otherwise, we'll throw this curl flat concept. So you see right here, the curl flat curl gets wide open most of the time the curl will get open because most of the time the user has to use the running back he, he literally has to use the running back and i think you want to run this concept to the to the wide side of the field um you don't necessarily want to run this to the back side you can but it's much better over on this hash mark um so let's say for example that you're facing somebody that is running um a lot of mike blitz three Remember, if they're running a double Mabel, they can't have a yellow. They can't have a vert hook this year because they can't drop him into a vert hook. So take a look at that curl wide open. Now I've talked about this concept, I think, in one of my eBooks about how in Madden, 
when you start to mess with the numbers. So like if you put the curl, like if the if the guy was inside the numbers, so let's say that the curl route was ran at the inside of the 20 yard line. It def the defense defends it significantly differently than if it's ran just to the outside of the numbers and also than if it's ran just to the outside. So if I go to just a basic cover three, curl flats typically defend curl routes. Let me show you real quick. You'll notice here he doesn't guard it. Why doesn't he guard it? Because he's on the numbers or because he's just to the out, just barely outside of the numbers. So he tr the, the, the coverage, the rule of the coverage treats him a different way because of that, okay, because of that uh, reality, okay? So again, you've got this backside concept, which we'll talk about in just a second, but I want to talk, talk through everything they're going to have to do. So that was curl flat. We've showed you um, uh, quarter flat. We've showed you cloud flat. Now we're going to show you seam flat adjustment. So here we're going to go two seam flats for the linebackers. And what you should see here is even more open. See that? Boom. Okay. So the seam flat's not going to work. So now let's go to cover two and do a vert hook. And what you'll notice here, and this is why I really like the location of the curl. What you'll see here, vert hook, he kind of guards it. He kind of guards it. So you put them in a position where they have to have a vertical hook. You know, that's what is basically what we've done. And we've talked about this before on the channel, but if you have tight end apprentice and you want to really mess with them a little bit, you can run a hitch. And what will happen is that post will oftentimes pull the vert hook out of the way. See how it gets pulled back? He didn't quite get pulled back like we want him to there. But and that's part of why 3 5 wide is so good. But anyways, you force them into a very specific coverage that they have to have. Okay, now let's talk about the back side of the field. So the back side of this concept, which most people aren't, you got to think about it. Most people aren't going to play vert hook to the right. Okay, they're just not. Um, they're going to play something else. I guarantee you that this is this guy right here because this leaves them significantly vulnerable to all kinds of other stuff um, that we could do. But anyways, let's take a look at this backside. So now what we can do on the backside, you've got one of two options. You can either you can either run this hitch zig because what's going to happen is he's going to hold the yellow and you see how that angle route's going to run right behind it. That's it. That's why they have to use for the angle route. Because the only route the only zone in the game that can really cover the angle route is a uh, a vert hook. But because of how we're going to set this concept up, we're going to have this hitch, which is going to hold the yellow, and now you're throwing that to the left. So you're high, low, and a vert hook defender, and uh, which honestly, most of the time, not even going to be there if you think about it, because if they're in Mabel, so if they're in this, typically that hitch is going to be wide open. I'm going to show you here. So, again, you're looking right first. No, left, yes. Boom. Now, the other thing you can do with this backside player, which is something that is only, and I want to stress, only good to this side of the field. Notice the slot corner comes inside. If they're in a cover three zone, let's just say they're in a cover three, instead of a zig, try putting them on a quick little five yard out. Oftentimes, that out is going to be wide open. You can throw that snap throw it out there and get easy yards. If they're not, and what it does is it forces them to play cloud flat, play hard flat, which opens up other things for later on in the, in the game. Um, so now I wanna show you just a quick little cover three, um, you know, one of the most popular blitzes in the game, Mike Blitz three, we're gonna send five, and we're gonna put a hard flat out there. And again, it's a quick snap read, but you're just looking out there, can I throw it? I can throw it, throw it out there. It's just simple. Simple, 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 okay? But it does, it, it accomplishes the same purpose. It doesn't sit as well as the zig does. I do like the way the zig sits, but in this in particular concept, it does make a lot of sense to run it like that. Um, if they're running a cover four, you're gonna get the same thing. So it forces man or cover two. Um, it forces man or cover two, which then opens up, you know, some of the other stuff that we like to do out of trip side, like a slant post concept, um, 
you know, where you can hit the post. But this is a great little play because you're going to just kind of add some little wrinkles over here that they now have to respect. And it's just something simple, but it's really, really tough to guard. It really is. Um, so anyways, that's pretty much it, honestly. I mean, that if you if you don't want let's say you want to leave this. So let's say you want to keep this concept on the backside, the curl and the flat. That's fine. Just motion this guy on a curl, and you're going to snap him right here and you get basically the same thing and i love that i love that route combo and it's something simple that really nobody's running um, but it really does put a lot of stress on them on that side of the field because now they have to stay over there and so it's just something that can kind of get them out of their standard stuff and you stretch the whole field it's it's a it's a horizontal stretch and that's why i like it because it really they're going to have to play cover two and, and the other thing is, like, let's say they do play cover two. So let's say they play cover two on the left side. This is one of the reasons why I like this left side a little bit better to have a curl. Because what you'll see is the vert hook um, doesn't always cover that curl. The flat's wide open typically as well. And what it does is it pulls out a lot of space. Um, it, it puts a lot of space now for you to be able to hit your, um, your angle route. So you get that kind of right in that little pocket. See how that vert hook slides inside? And I can hit that. So that's how you can manipulate it if they're wanting to just sit and cover two a lot. Now, man coverage, um, if they run man, I didn't cover that yet. So if they do run, if they do want to run some man coverage, um, let me see, out route, hitch, flat. Your main read is your running back, which is hard to use her in man. Right there. Um, and then you can also low ball your curl to the outside, so to, to the triangle receiver. And the way you want to do that is you want to low ball it inside and you want to click on. You need to click onto this, otherwise you're gonna be in, you know, you're not gonna be able to catch it. So you can click on and aggressive catch it. So he goes, get that jam, curl, low ball, aggressive catch. Okay? See how I clicked on, brought him back to the ball. That is the concept and it's very very difficult to defend because you're you're using the whole field you're using you're truly using the whole field you can bring this guy all the way across if you want to and run a traditional kind of curl flat deal which is still very good the purples will defend that a little better but it's still pretty good so anyways guys that's just a little something um, I think that you know again something you can use that is real simple and I want to show one little you know, one little flare um, that I like too, uh, and that is this. We're gonna we're gonna do kind of a, honestly, kind of a PA counter go type thing, but basically we're gonna wheel the running back. Um, we're gonna post the tight end, and we're gonna create kind of a levels concept. So we're gonna seam streak Godwin, and then I like to smoke this guy on the outside. And then we're going to motion this guy over on an in route. And we're actually going to snap him in motion and try to get him kind of delayed a little bit. And now you have a really nice little in route that can get under almost every zone of the game. So you can mess with that a little bit too. I was just thinking about that. wanted to share that. But having concepts that can really stress the defense on the right side of the trips tied in with motion and then also come back on the left side too is very, very important in your offense. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get all of my ebooks, all my stuff, Join the Patreon. You get everything for just $10 a month, and you can cancel whenever you want. The cool part is we got 18 ebooks. We got a ton of updates. We've got pro player film studies that are coming shortly. Um, really, really excited to kick some of that stuff off. And when I say pro player film studies, we literally are going to walk through the film of the, the Madden uh, Championship Series, and we're going to break down exactly what they're doing. So it's not just, ah, here's some concept they ran. No, it's... Here's exactly what they ran, and here's why they ran it in the game management and all that. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the Patreon membership, link is in the description.